Is it okay to send the Amazon listing URL of a similar or exact product you want? Uh, well, yeah, it would be a okay to do that. But all, well, first of all, all you're going to end up with is the same product that somebody else is selling. And you might want to consider that as a strategy, just selling the same product that somebody else is selling. You may want to consider that. Uh, you should definitely go out of your way to do something to make your product unique, bundling, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So consider that. Secondly, were it me, what I would do instead is I would, um, I would be targeting the factories on Alibaba that sell the product I'm interested in getting. So let's just go to, and I can show you rather than doing anything else. Let's think of a product that I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get, make this work for. Resistance, that'll do. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do that. <coughs> All right, so here's Fit Simplify. Uh, this one product, $400,000 a month, one product. $400,000 a month from this one product, okay? Pretty spectacular. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I've decided I want to sell resistance bands, and I want to, I want to actually sell... Uh, the same resistance bands as these guys do because, you know, that's a good product and I'm going to be pretty sure these are good products to sell. So what I do is I pull it up so that I can see the listing like this. So I'm looking at the images and then if I right click and view the image, I've now got the image entirely on Amazon. So I'm just going to quickly drag that onto my desktop. Hopefully that works. So now I've got the image, the hero image of the product on, on Amazon that I want to try and at least approximate. So there's two things you can do now. Firstly, if you are logged in, you've got to be logged in to do this, but if you are logged into Alibaba, you can use an image search. So let's just do that. I'm going to upload my image. And of course, I'm just going to upload the image, what I've just taken off of Amazon. And it's that one right there. And I know now that that's the image I can go look for. Let's go see if, if we can find it. Bada boom, bada bing. I found it. So now I know who, <laughs> maniacal laugh, who they're using for their products. That's it right there. It's this company. Who is it? Let's have a quick look. Da -da 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 -da. Company profile. It's these guys. So, so now I can just approach this company directly and say, hey, I want to sell resistance bands. Sell me some resistance bands. And that's a very, very simple way of doing it. Another way you could do it as well, if you don't get any joy doing it that way, is on, uh, on Google. If I go to images, I can do the same thing again. Search by image. Oh, I can paste a URL. That's pretty cool. Let's just do that. Search by my image, and again, I should be able to find some great intel about their company and what they're doing. Let's have a look, see if we can find something. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Joomla, etc., etc. So now I can see everywhere that they're selling it. That in and of itself is pretty bloody good. Maybe I put plus supplier, something like that. And that might give me some better stuff. Uh, plus factory. As you can tell, I'm kind of doing this on the fly. <coughs> what is that? Are there fitness bands? Hmm. Plus. So here's another called search modifiers, Alibaba. So I put site colon Alibaba, and that goes and looks for that image with that search term on that site. That's what that does. And now you can see I've got loads and loads of people who I can go and go and look for that particular product too. So that's two cool ways, Greg, that you can use that 
to find the product that you want to sell rather than just giving the suppliers the URL, which is kind of, I don't think that's a great idea to do. Better to just take the bull by the horns and go looking for it yourself. Now I'm going to give you that thing, that little search modifier there, site colon alibaba.com. Give everybody that. So you've got it. Send to all. Bada boom, bada bing. There you go. Hope that helps. So that's the better strategy, I believe, Greg. You take control rather than, rather than uh, uh, the other way around. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.